uh, EA have released the Max 87 base hero. We need an 85 squad and an 86 of a team of the week. I'm going to show you how to grind that in today's video, how to get fodder and the best way to get team of the weeks if you need them. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading a crazy trading video straight after this video as well on how to make some serious coins off a broken method. But let's get into our hero pack and let's see what we get out of this. So, of course, it can only be an 87 or lower. Now, there are some crazy good ones and some terrible ones. So, it's 86 rated. Uh, that's Dirt Cow. I will take a Dirt Count for a second. I thought it's Schneider. It can't be. I will take a Dirt Count. I don't think that's a terrible one to get. 86 rated, of course, but really rounded stats. Whether he suits this year's meta or not, we'll have to see down the line. But in terms of value, it's about 70,000 coins. So, not crazy there, but he will be useful for future things. Let's get into the grind. So these 80 plus combo upgrades are going to be your best friend for the next two days. Now, this is how I managed to get all of my high rated fodder except team of the weeks. Unless your pat luck's in, then you won't get them. But just to show you in my duplicate storage from doing these grinds, I did manage to get a couple gold cards here. They just help you on your way. So what I recommend that you do is just get rid of all of your duplicate storage cards that you have. If you don't have any, don't worry, I'll get you covered as well. But we're going to go ahead and pop in six gold rares as we've done. And then the rest are going to be common. And we need to back out of our storage and go back over to squad. So I'm going to make one of these and I'm going to explain to you how you should be grinding them. So at the same time, we're just popping in any cards because we don't have League SBCs yet. We don't have anything else that can really help us apart from bronze and silver upgrades. Our main way of grinding this Hero SPC, of course, is going to be along the lines of doing objectives, milestones, and, of course, playing the trusted squad battles, rivals, etc. Now, I'm not going to go into that too much with rivals, squad battles, etc. Because it is down to how you have much time you have to play and what you can do to play. But the best way to get yourself some cards... Let me introduce you to lootbar.gg. They help out massively and you can get coins as well. So they are 8 to 10% cheaper than any other platform available. If you use code NANA, you get an additional 8% off on your first purchase, plus 5% extra coins on top every time you do this. Also, a lot of content creators just like these use Lootbar too. So if you are looking for coins, use code NANA and head over to the link in the description or in the comment section and get those coins now. And get some high rate fodder are these combo packs. Now, most of the time, you're going to get absolutely nothing but you only have to get 22 high s rates we get i mean i say that we just got a car walker that's untradeable and i have a tradable one so i'm going to go ahead and sell mine but you can see right there you can get some cards into your club that can be useful to your team if not they're going to go with what they're going to go up to but the good thing about these are the more you grind the higher chance you got against stuff like anything like how casinos work and much more but what i'm trying to get you is you only have to hit I think it's like 20 plus 85 cards, basically. Once you've got that, you can just go ahead and buy the last two cards you need. Or if your pat luck's in, or if you had them in your club, you can go ahead and complete them. The only thing that takes a little bit of time is the team of the week. Now, it is possible to get team of the weeks. It is difficult, but it is possible. So I just opened up the packs. If you wonder where I got this from, was completing the uh, Hero SBC, the individual packs that we got. But if we head back to the grind, we are going to go ahead and open up another one of those uh, combo ones in a second. But I wanted to explain to you bronze pack method using the bronze upgrade into the silver upgrade into the gold upgrade. And then using those gold rares from the gold grade into the common. So into combo, sorry. So what we're going to do now is just go ahead and build one of these gold upgrades. And then we're going to build one of the combo ones. We're going to compare them now. I just got Carl Walker. So you could argue, yes, it's going to be harder to beat with that. But we're just basing it off rating. It's an 84. Now, the thing that I like about this gold upgrade in particular to the 80 plus is you can only use gold commons if you want to. You don't have to use gold rares, which makes it quote unquote cheaper. So if you've got the coins, I recommend going to buy the gold upgrade cards, getting all the commons for super cheap by sniping them and then getting into um, the gold rares later. Now, with this one, we do need gold rares, as you know. So we're going to need to use six gold rares. So I'm just swapping out any cards that I potentially want to Evo and then keeping the rest. So let's go ahead and open up either one. Now, like I said to you at the start of the video, it is very RNG. It is down to your pat luck. One minute, you're going to get loads of high-rated cards. The next minute, it could feel like years. Just how it works with this game, unfortunately, until we start getting League SBCs. But let's open up the gold double upgrade first. Which is 11 commons. No walkout, so we will skip it. But remember the ratings of the cards. So we've got an 84 and an 81. So there, right, is the prime example. With the combo pack, we get one guaranteed 80 plus and one guaranteed to be 75 higher or not. So right there, we got better than what the combo would be. And it cost us six less gold rares to buy. Now, can this combo pack beat that? Imagine we get a walkout. Of course we don't. So we go ahead and skip. We've got an 84 and an 81 to beat. We got two 82s. 
So there's my example right there. Some packs will be better than others depending on your own individual pack luck. Can I tell you the correct answer for either one of them? No, you're going to have to just go through what's in your club and get rid of what you've got to get rid of. So if you wanted to just solely grind these gold upgrades underneath my camera, you're going to want to do these silver upgrades. You get three comments, complete that four times. That's going to give you one of these. Now, it's actually really easy to complete the silver upgrade if you do bronze pack method. If you don't know what bronze pack method is, there is a video on the channel, but I'll basically briefly explain it to you. You essentially just buy bronze packs, sell anything that sells, send everything else into your club. Once you've got 11 bronze commons, you then put them into a bronze upgrade. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you in a second. Then you open up that bronze upgrade. I think it's around five to six times. That gives you silvers back. So all of your bronze commons you get from bronze packs into this. They give you two silver players back each time. One common, one rare. Put all of them into this. 11 of those is going to give you three commons. Rinse and repeat that until you get lots of gold rares like we just showed you. Then those gold rares, if they're all really low rated, for example, 83 and down, because 83s aren't worth anything, you could then gamble them if you want to put them into the combo. So our next gold upgrade, we don't get a combo pack. Sorry, we don't get a walk out. We've got two bad cards here. So those two cards, for example, can count towards our rares towards the combo upgrade. Now, again, the 80 plus combo upgrade, you know what I'm talking about. We can pop them into there and then we can go ahead and see what other rares we have available. So if we just basically swap this to most recent. That's all the cards that we've just packed. So you see that there's our cow, there's our walker. So we're just going to pop in any card in here that is just lower rated than whatever we have available. Now you can see here we've got a couple team of the weeks in our most recent as well. And that has actually come from those combo upgrades doing them as I've been playing the game as I go along. You can see here we actually got two of them and a couple of low rated rares. As well as some high rates. We did get a couple walkouts there. So you know it is possible course showing you on the video and not showing you on the video is different things so just take it as gospel as they say so we've got four there we need two more rares so let's go ahead and get some rares there's one put the common in and there we go we got ourselves another combo upgrade an 83 rated and just to show you that 83s don't actually sell for anything you can see here she's like 850 coins that no one's put a bid on so these don't sell basically it's the reason why i'm saying 83 is and lower of course you don't want to go any higher that you want to take it one step at a time but let's go ahead and open up our combo pack and that's how you're going to grind the spc side of it now if you have no golds in your club whatsoever if we get a special card in no we don't we get a walkout we don't if you are looking to grind golds and basically continue to do the spc see like right there's a really bad one 75 and an 81 so in my opinion gold upgrades are better but what you want to do to grind these golds is go over to the store. No, I'm joking. You want to go over to the objectives and you just want to go through the rush objectives. You get loads of packs back, which give you loads of players and an 84 double. That's a really good way to grind any of these SPCs. You got these Sanchez World Tour objectives plus extra, obviously, SP ones to get your season pass up. Then we have these cards here that give you loads of packs. The same for the One Nation objective. You get some pretty high rated packs back from that. We've got the Eva Arena, if you haven't done that either, a really good one to get packs back. Then we've got the Milestones where you can combine all of these together and get individual packs back and players on top to get them done, as well as multiple other things. That's going to be your best way. Let me know in the comment section down below who you do pack. And if you have any questions, comment as well. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.